about profiting medicine. Nowadays, nowadays on YouTube there are so many uh, treatments of uh, heart disease, lung disease, which are backed by authentic sources. Now, uh, my question is: there should we treat them according to the hadith uh, on our own, or should we take guidance from doctors? Ali, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not a physician; he was a prophet. Mercy for mankind, a guide to people and to all that exist by the leave of Allah. There were traditional medicine being practiced back then. Some he approved, and uh, it's not only uh, it's not something of the wahi, like you know this medicine will treat this. It's not uh, to be taken this way, except in the case of honey. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "With the to honey, fihi shifa ulinas." There is cure in it. Okay? يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بُطُونِهَا طَعَابٌ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهُ فِيهِ شِفَاءٌ لِلنَّاسِ So Allah spoke about the honey that comes from the bellies of the honeybees. There is cure in it. Uh, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, recommended cupping and hijama. And it was widely practiced even before Islam. So I cannot say this is a prophetic medicine or a chapter of how to treat diseases in Islam. Rather, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, O oh, servants of God, the Almighty did not create any disease, but he has created the treatment for it. Arafahu man arafah. Only those with the expert, with the expertise, uh, will know the treatment. Tadawa wa ibad Allah. So seek remedy, O oh, servants of Allah. If you get sick, go to the proper doctor, specialist, Get the proper medication. We recite ruqya, yes. We uh, take the black seed, no problem. Olive oil, fine. Uh, honey, great. Do cupping. But you do not say this is sufficient. Somebody with heart diseases or ascleroses or liver cirrhosis or renal failure. You come to the sheikh and say, what shall I do? And he says, take honey. Now you go to the doctor. You don't go to the sheikh. This is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Say, so in whatever the Prophet sallallahu recommended, we can seek help in that. There is something called post pundi, which is uh, uh, like root. When we ground it like powder and we add honey to it, it's an amazing antibiotic. So the physicians, the pharmacologists, the pharmacognosts were able to extract active ingredients from that and said it has, it has, uh, mashallah effective active, active ingredients like antibiotics okay we can use this the dose who determines the doses the doctor how many times a day uh, mix it with what uh, rosemary is a treatment uh, likewise but you know we have to follow the advices of the doctors in this regard there's something called drug drug interaction there are something called side effects. Like you cannot be taken Marivan, for instance, with uh, whatever other uh, type of medication because they have a conflict. So I'm not trying to mention names of drugs uh, because this is not a medicine show. But I'm just telling you who determines, who decides, the professional doctor. And if uh, the Prophet Sallallahu is alive today, uh, he would seek the advices of the professional doctors. We may benefit out of the advices pertaining to olive oil, honey, hijama, cupping, post etc. Barakallahu fiqh.